This is the future. Well, hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. And if I'm talking too loud, it's because I'm deaf. You guys can see I've got some cotton buds in my ear, and I will tell you why. Let's talk about earwax. So, I don't know how many of you guys know how to get rid of earwax or how to clear your ear canals. If you have a problem, you can actually go to a pharmacist because the pharmacist knows everything about medications and it doesn't cost you a consultation fee to just go there first before going to a doctor unless you are extremely sick and there's something else wrong. So how did this all come together or how did this happen? This. This is a no-no. I know when we were little my mom used to use a q-tip and you know, clean out the ears and it actually causes a, how can I say this, it gives you an itch that you didn't need, you know how to scratch. That's how good it feels when you're in there and you know, cleaning out the wax, it feels so good. But you sometimes have to do it again. But the problem with the cuter is this cotton at the end can come off and then stay behind your ear or get stuck. And you have to go and get your ears rinsed out. So, what happened in my case is something that actually happened in 2006 where, no I lied, it was 2005 where I also went to the seaside and I got to a point where it felt like I can't hear very well so I used a q-tip to go in and clean and what I did is I actually loosened the ear wax and pushed it in to the ear canal blocking my entire ear that I couldn't hear anything. I blocked up everything. It's like total ear hearing loss in one ear. And it happened again last night because I thought I was clever. So at that time, you get different products that you can use to clear out your canals. If there's a noise in the background, sorry guys, the kids are rowdy, there's nothing I can do about it. This is one of the products that they give you. It's a wax candle, an ear candle. This is a no-no. This is bullshit. What is this? What this is supposed to do is you put the end in your ear, you light the top, and it's supposed to either loosen the wax or something, but you get people that get burned with this thing. And I did try it once because there were two sticks in here. And this, this absolutely nothing for me. This is nonsense. So don't even go for this. This is what you need. Wax all. This stuff works very well. Used it before, it's excellent. The only warning that I can give you on this product is do not use it if you have a perforated eardrum. And do not use this if, you are, uh, if your ear has infection in it. So if it's an ear infection, this is not going to help you, this is actually going to harm you. So how this works. Um, you take 10 drops and you drip it into your ear and you plug it up. This side was fine, it was a bit, you know, there's some stuff in there, so I did this one as well. It's not as bad, but I did it as well just to make sure that I cover both sides, okay. So 10 drops in this side, 10 drops in this side, close it up and you leave it for the day. Now this says uh, two days or two consecutive nights. Um, I unfortunately am an impatient man. Last time it worked after one night. Now the box says that if the earwax doesn't come out by itself, you can use a syringe with some lukewarm water and you can irrigate your ears. And exactly that's exactly what they do with you in casualties. So instead of running to the hospital or running to a doctor to do exactly the same thing, you can do it yourself for so much cheaper. 
So I just put it in a few hours ago. So when I come back, it will be the next day. And we're going to see if anything came out. If something came out, good stuff. I will maybe put in a second dose. And then after that, if nothing's happening, then we will use a syringe and irrigate the ears. Okay, stay tuned. Hi guys, welcome back. And it's been 24 hours since I've put the wax hole in my ear. And it's time to flush it out. It's not opening up by itself. So I'm going to irrigate my ears and I will tell you how. Because obviously I cannot show you how. It's going to be a bit difficult. Um, so first of all, hmm, let me get my stuff, hold on. Okay, so all you need is a 5ml syringe and you take lukewarm water, not very hot, otherwise you're going to burn yourself obviously. And cold water doesn't do the trick, it has to be warm. Because like any wax, it melts with heat. So lukewarm water, put it up water in your syringe, put the tip in your ear and spray hard. You know, give it all you got. But do it while you have your head tilted to the side so that whatever you have spraying comes out. Okay. There's no point in lying like this because you're just spraying the water into your ear. That's stupid. And there's no point in sitting upright like this. You have to tilt your head over a basin, have a bucket, or something under your ear to capture everything and uh, then we're gonna spray it up so that's why I say I cannot really show you what I'm gonna do because uh, obviously um, I've got only one hand okay so let me get the bucket the water and let's see if it works if it doesn't come out today then tonight is my second consecutive night in which I can put wax all in to loosen it up further but I'm actually quite confident it will work now Warning, viewers discretion is advised at this point. You want to see what shit is going out? I'm kind of missing it, but no, there's something. There's something. Ew! Look at that. Ew! 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 Ah! <sighs> I can't believe the relief of hearing in this ear again, having sound coming in like it should. It's fantastic. So works like a charm. Just put the syringe deep, deep, deep in, and spray with force. And then after about seven or eight sprays, it started coming out. And yes, I did use a Q-tip again, and I just loosened it a little bit more, then I sprayed it out again. Are you guys ready to be grossed out? Can I gross you out a bit? Can I gross you out a bit? Yeah. Ah. yeah. That's what was stuck in my ear. <laughs> but it's out now, so fantastic, now I can hear again. Well, if you were grossed out by this video, give me a thumbs up. And thanks for watching. Hey guys, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. Give me a thumbs up, because it will really help out this channel. And feel free to drop a comment. Then something new for you all, there is now a Facebook page, so feel free to follow me on my Facebook group. We will be discussing behind the scene features and videos that I have done. Also, don't forget to go to my website at www.cripzone.co.za where you can go straight to my podcast if you want to by clicking on the podcast icon you'll be taken straight to the anchor podcast page where i do my podcast and remember when you go to my youtube page there will be a place where you can subscribe to my channel um, and remember if you have any comments please feel free to drop me an email and on my youtube front page there is now a paypal donation button where you can feel free to donate to this channel to help it grow and to help to support me thanks for watching and until next time cheers